Hi everybody, welcome to Daily Deco. I am Mark, this is Sean, uh, and we're going to be talking about the very latest and most interesting scuba diving news and underwater stuff. Um, so the first thing is, is that um, this episode is sponsored by our very own Teespring store. Uh, and on that note, I actually have a little surprise. Uh, if what? I just take this off, I actually have... Uh, what is going on? My Emotional Bolt Snap t-shirt on. I ordered... <laughs> my mask like a week before yours and I, I still haven't got it you, you see what happens is is they they make the good designs faster <laughs> so... <laughs> no I blame my post man it's because my post <laughs> comes once a week in a big bundle yeah, your, of elastic your post bands is a, yeah your post it's is rubbish. a bit diabolical <laughs> it's terrible I'm getting stuff from uh, 1985 <laughs> Um, so yes, more about Teesprings later, um, but if you do want a uh, emotional support Bolt Snap t-shirt, they are available on our Teespring store. Shame. Um, shame. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's pretty accurate. I haven't actually gauged... Oh, it's a little bit bigger than my emotional support Bolt Snap, but... Um, so anyway. Um, so the first thing is is that lots of new stuff is arriving on the uh, on the Simply Scuba website. Lots of new Zegel equipment, um, as well as sort of Apex and Aqualung bits and bobs. Um, so there is more and more stuff arriving every single day. Um, so yeah, we're kind of back up and running. We're not at sort of full strength as it were, but um, but yeah, there there is some new stuff. So if you are in the market for some dive equipment, definitely head over to SimplyScuba.com in the underwater news. Um, so the first news story that uh, sort of caught my eye was uh, scuba divers have recovered um, a shipwreck, a 300 year old shipwreck treasure um, off the Cornish coast. So this is a tricky one. This is a, um, a 330 year old shipwreck or something. And um, <coughs> It's where it lies is such a precarious area to get to and sort of dive to. That's probably why the shipwreck wrecked itself anyway. Um, in is that divers they've they've known it's there, but it's a, a very sort of sandy area, and um, and the wreck is always being sort of covered up, and then uncovered, and it all kind of the sand and the substrate all kind of moves. So it's quite hard to physically sort of. Yeah, sort of get there and uh, and sort of analyze and study the shipwreck, but also topside the weather is diabolical, so actually getting there is you know, quite precarious. But actually, recently um, divers have managed to they basically found a, uh, a break in the weather. <clears throat> the shipwreck was pretty well exposed as well, so it was like the stars are aligning, and they just went, you know what, now. So <clears throat> so they went down. And they um, and they were kind of analysing the uh, the wreck, and they were trying to find uh, sort of as many sort of interesting artifacts that they can lift as possible. And um, and yeah, they managed to find a um, a, a bunch of these uh, sort of weights that had the uh, I think it was the the Portuguese royal coat of arms. And uh, and these things they weigh about 25 kilos, um, so they're sort of lifting those up. <clears throat> getting them uh, sort of out of the water, treating them so that they can then go to a museum. So this is one of those kind of, yeah, all, all the stars are aligning. Um, it's a really sort of unique shipwreck to um, to physically kind of get to and, uh, and sort of check out. But um, yeah, luckily they managed to um, sort of get everything just right and um, yeah, sort of get in there. So uh, hopefully we'll see more sort of coming up from the shipwreck. Um, but obviously if you want to read more about it, the uh, the link will be down in the description below. That's cool, man. Mm. Just imagine yeah. if they finally caught that break, <coughs> they got there and it's just like, you know, those archeologists that go to uh, like the pyramids and then they find like Pepsi bottles <laughs> and stuff. They go there and there's like a, just a bunch of cans. No! Well, the, one, <coughs> the one was, um, there was one off the the French coast and um, and on the, um, on, on this like sort of stretch of beach, every now and then a, um, an old Garfield plastic telephone <laughs> would just sort of appear and they're like, 
okay, whatever. And then they just sporadically keep appearing. And it turns out we that this shipping that, didn't we? Yeah, this shipping container that had like hundreds of thousands of plastic Garfield <laughs> telephones from like 1987 um, had got like caught inside this cave and just the way the tides worked, they um, they sort of pulled out a few every now and then and just deposited them on the beach. <coughs> Funny, but uh, but yeah, this one slightly more interesting, sort of yeah. things with the uh, the Portuguese royal crest on and all that kind of stuff. Uh, that's cool. Man. Um, that's cool. Whilst we're talking about searching things, um, so a there's a uh, a search ongoing search for a missing scuba diver near um, Santa Cruz Island, and um, and this is Ryder Stewart. Uh, he's 34 years old. He was. Um, uh, he was scuba diving for lobsters, I believe, and um, failed to uh, to surface with his buddy. Um, buddy immediately uh, sort of radioed for help, and um, sort of Santa Barbara uh, sort of county sheriff's office have been uh, sort of searching for him. Um, as of time of recording, they have not found him. Um, so hopefully, this story will have a happy ending. Um, but um, yeah, it is one of those new stories that you kind of have to keep following um, because yeah, scuba divers have been lost for days and days and days and still uh, sort of recovered and uh, sort of come back to perfect health. So um, we, we don't really know um, sort of the Coast Guard and everyone is, uh, is sort of currently searching for him. Um, so hopefully this has a happy ending. Hopefully, um, definitely. Yes. Uh, the next news story. Um, this comes from the uh, the DDRC, and um, and this is a quick survey on scuba divers. They um, they basically they want to track scuba divers' health uh, sort of through the ages, as it were. Um, so they were looking back in uh, sort of studies back in uh, sorry 1999, uh, pre-millennium, um, and that revealed that just over a third of participating divers were either overweight or obese. Um, by 2019, um, that figure had soared from 34% of, uh, of divers being overweight or uh, obese to 69%. So it's gone from one third to two thirds of divers being overweight and obese. And um, obviously they're um, sort of trying to work out how strong a correlation this has to scuba diver incidents and uh, things mm. going wrong. So um, there's a free survey that um, that they really want people to uh, to fill out. I did mine this morning. Um, it's completely anonymous. Uh, it's free. The, you don't have to put your email address in or nothing. Um, all it is is you just uh, sort of click a link, which will be down in the description below, um, and uh, it's just going to ask your your age, your fitness, um, sort of what you do for a, a day job, uh, sort of how active you are. Um, uh, sort of how tall you are, how uh, how much you weigh, and all that kind of stuff, and uh, and that's just going to go into their uh, st statistics, and um, hopefully it can help them come up with kind of correlations and uh, sort of keep track of things. Cool. That's really important yeah. that <clears throat> people do that. You know, yes. the more data, uh, like you say, <coughs> they're not taking any personal details. It just proves how true. Yeah. And, you, you know, that this isn't, uh, what, what do they call it, data mining, or, you know, they're not just trying to grab an email address or a phone number off of you. The fact that they don't ask oh, for no. any of that just, no. just proves that they, they all they want <clears throat> is the statistics yeah. of you. Yeah, I think the, the closest thing that they ask for is your date of birth, um, mm. but you can go, like, a day or two in either direction or whatever. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they never ask for your name or, or anything. That's really um, cool. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, and um, it, it is important because uh, sort of especially with lockdown as well, uh, we haven't been as active, or I certainly haven't been as active as uh, sort of previously. So um, yeah, it's um, it, it's just one of those sort of quick things. It only took me about five minutes to be honest. Um, it's just kind of fill in the blanks and all that kind of stuff, and. Um, yeah, it's it's just going to help them with their uh, sort of research, and um, sort of hopefully um, it might sort of make you think. Oh, maybe maybe you know I I, sh I should put that second mince pie down um, this winter season because uh, no, don't don't <laughs> don't do that. Have a third one. <laughs> just cut down on your salad. The um, yeah, your Brussels sprouts. Yeah, no, not those. You got to eat the Brussels. Yeah. Mate. I like Brussels sprouts. I yeah, my Brussels other half sprouts. doesn't. <laughs> love them. 
love them, love them, love them. <laughs> Something about mince uh, pies, though. I had like three in the space of an hour yesterday. It was oh, not good. I know. I'm, I'm really bummed that I can't find brandy butter anywhere. It just oh. seems that no one seems to sell it anymore. And you're like, oh, come on. <clears throat> I know. I, to, to, to the point where I was looking at buying brandy and like, do you just mix it with butter? <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> a, a I'm sure something. there's more to it and I'm I sure thought, there's a spoonful of sugar as well I thought for a second there you were going to go subscribers guys I need some help if you have any brandy butter can you please <laughs> send me some like an appeal <coughs> gift aid yeah. gift aid yeah, marks yeah. some brandy butter please P.O. box <laughs> now um, today's episode of Daily Deco is sponsored by our very own Teespring store um, so if you want our latest t-shirt emotional support bolt snap um, or if you want a, a new scuba diving t-shirt a hoodie um, yeah, a, a sort of a COVID face mask a pair of socks a new mug uh, you name it we do lots of uh, sort of merchandise so uh, all you have to do is you basically go to, there'll be a link down in the description below somewhere, um, or sort of go to uh, sort of Teesprings and search for scuba diving t-shirt or something and we should sort of start to pop up. And um, and yeah, find a design that you like the look of, choose where you want it, whether you want it on a t-shirt or wherever, uh, pick your size, pick your color, and then when you go to place your order, when you get to uh, the checkout, we're offering you 15% off of your order if you use the discount code daily deco, that's all one word that will get you 15% off of your order. Um, so yeah, you can get some new scuba diving merchandise, um, either as a Christmas gift for yourself or for someone else. Um, yeah, just do bear in mind that it can take a, a couple weeks for them to actually manufacture it. So you do have to get in there fairly quick. Um, yeah, because this one took, I don't know, about a week or so. Um, well, boo -hoo to, you. Um, to arrive. <laughs> to arrive. <coughs> um, yeah, because they don't hold stock of each and every design. Um, they physically make it as soon as you hit the order. Um, so it's a bit more eco-friendly that way. That's why we, um, or one of the reasons why we um, we chose Teesprings. Um, but yeah, definitely use that code Daily Deco. And when it arrives, um, do a little um, sort of sneaky selfie and sort of upload it onto Instagram. Uh, and don't forget to tag at Simply Scuba so that we can see you wonderful people uh, wearing our designs because we actually want to see you guys in the wild. Um, Yes, I expect to, for you to do that safe diving your Instagram tag Marky Mark. So I will do. I can, yeah, I will do. Can, <coughs> this yeah, this arrived that. last. This arrived last night. So uh, and it's already got dog hair all over it. Yes, Thank you, Rupert. Um, <coughs> so yeah, I'll uh, I'll take a picture a little bit later. Um, sort out my lighting. <laughs> you need more than get, you, you need more yeah, lighting. Well, right? <laughs> you need more lighting. <laughs> more lighting that's cool <clears throat> yeah again it's doing really well so good 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 and what's our most popular design at the moment sean uh, <clears throat> um shark's <laughs> always popular now it's the bolt snap that's quite bolt good snap. bolt snap's pretty popular um <coughs> the shark face mask mm -hmm. is going through the roof but i don't know it's because i made that a little bit cheaper than the red one so it could be to that, and also it's a better design, let's be honest. Um, yeah, that's it. Yeah, uh, come up with funky designs. Other than that, I think a couple of people have been buying the um, the reef design, where it's like oh, a yeah. snorkeler and a diver, like a fully like a full fledged. That's we sold okay, quite a lot yeah. of those, which is pretty good. Yeah. But yeah, I think think the main one has been the shark face mask, the humble bolt snap, mm -hmm. and a couple of the. Uh, well, the, the, you've got the classic dive dives. A couple of people have been buying the dive dive hoodies, which is that good. That one always sells. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so it's just that, that's a, that's an evergreen, isn't it? But yeah, no, it's, mm -hmm. it's going well. So, Dave Deco, get 50% off. Yes. Do it now. <coughs> after this video. And after you've clicked yeah, yeah. all the adverts. Yeah, that's it. In, in about 10 minutes' time. And then um, sorted out your brandy butter to get sent to Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, what's next, <laughs> young Marky Mark? Uh, so the next news story um, comes from the Georgia Aquarium. Um, and um, I kind of wanted to, well, one of the main reasons I, I picked this up um, is uh, it, it's a sad story. So they've had a, a whale shark um, in their aquarium for the past, like, 15 years. Um, whale sharks do fairly well in captivity um, compared to uh, a lot of other species, uh, especially great white sharks who last about 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, 
but uh, but Trixie sadly passed away. Um, she just very her health very suddenly declined one day. They uh, they tried to get sort of veterinary health and whatnot, but um, but no, that that was kind of it, and she uh, and she passed. The New York Post uh, reported the massive mammal <laughs> named <laughs> Trixie <laughs> was one of the first whale sharks. I think I'll give them the benefit of the doubt that it's obviously not their speciality. One, because they tagged it whales. Um, so they, they must have seen whale and just thought, oh, it's a, it's a mammal. Um, didn't think much of the word shark, but um, yeah. <coughs> no, um, yeah, whale sharks, bless them, they um, they do fairly well in uh, in captivity. They're quite a, a sort of a sedate species, but um, but great white sharks. They've tried on a few occasions, not um, Georgia aquariums specifically, but uh, other aquariums. It's mainly yeah, great white, isn't it? But they do great <coughs> whites. They love doing them over there. Yeah, but they they last like days. There's something in great white shark brains or physiology that just they do not cope in uh, captivity, and they just die um it's um i don't think people know exactly why but, that's good um, not that yeah they die <coughs> but that they can't but that, that's, that's yeah. the best option they yeah hopefully no one anyway. will yeah hopefully no one will try um and yeah trixie um trixie 15 years she uh, she survived um i think there's a few others so she does have a sort of company but she was like their their very first and um yeah she lasted 15 years wow Impressive. And, um, yeah, she was having difficulty navigating the habitat earlier in the day, and then her health rapidly declined. The aquarium, the aquarium said, um, even after exhausted veterinary and animal care efforts, she ultimately passed away. Um, so yeah, sad news, um, but um, these these things do happen. I j zoos, yeah, zoos are a, a double-edged sword for me. They um, they do have their benefits, but um, yeah, it's, it's never nice keeping animals in captivity, um, nope. but um, sometimes you kind of have to, especially if they're injured and they can't be uh, sort of reintroduced into the yeah. wild, um, or they're an endangered species and it's important to keep the bloodlines going, but um, yeah, sadly, uh, eventually they do pass away. It's just, that's just life. Yeah, the circle of life. <coughs> circle um, of copyright strike. Yeah, don't copyright strike us. Um, <laughs> and our final news story uh, comes from another American aquarium. This one is Florida uh, Aquarium, and um, Santa Claus has been spotted um, <gasps> scuba diving in the Florida Aquarium. Oh wow! Uh, it looks like he has lost a lot of weight during COVID lockdown, um, <laughs> and his red his red Santa suit is uh, is very snug um, and form fitting. But um, yeah, again, this is uh, sort of one of those things that you often see in sort of Christmas December time of year, and um, so they're doing lots of um, uh, sort of Santa Claus underwater shows, um, mainly for the children, I figure, um, and it's typically on a on a Saturday. Uh, sort of, uh, where is it, 11am uh, until 7pm you can see Santa Claus kind of swimming around in the aquariums. Um, I presume they're just going to be feeding fish and sort of cleaning in the tank and that kind of stuff. It's but, uh, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's how the whale died. <gasps> Speculation guys, Santa went in no. there, they coughed on Trixie. <laughs> she got Covid. Not not quite how whale sharks It breathe, does, that's exactly that. how it... Uh, open up the gills. <laughs> oh dear. Hopefully not. Um, <laughs> but uh, but yes, I'm they only say. Joking, uh, yeah. <laughs> Florida Aquarium says with social distancing, the Florida Aquarium is allowing guests of all ages to share holiday wishes and take pictures with Santa Claus during this event. Um, so yeah, this is quite a uh, another one of those sort of clever ways to have a. A fairly unobtrusive barrier between yourself and Santa. I mean, I saw um, in one uh, like shopping mall or shopping centre, um, someone took a picture of like a mum and their uh, sort of young child having their picture taken with Santa Claus. But Santa Claus was one in one of those big inflatable snow globes. 
That was quite cool. I was like, well, yeah, because that's kind of how things need to be done in this um, sort of current pandemic. Um, because, yeah, as soon as you put sort of one child on Santa's knee, uh, and then you get the next, and it's just very easy just to spread communicable diseases. Um, so, um, so yeah, and it's it's kind of got that magical kind of charm to it. Um, so, um, yeah, now that um, Santa's behind like a six inch thick, um, sort of sheet of, uh, of sort of plastic glass or whatever it is um, and he's on scuba yeah everyone's safe they're taking their pictures um, and yeah it's just a little bit different just to see uh, sort of Santa scuba diving uh, it's cool man um, if you're going to go to an aquarium though and you take pictures don't remember to take the flash off because that's just going to yes. ruin the picture Yes. Yeah, you have that. to get the right. Yeah, you have to get that right angle because a lot of the uh, the glass is kind of scratched as well, so that yeah. just picks up on everything. Um, but it is it's quite good fun being on the other side of it if you've ever done a uh, sort of aquarium dive, um, because people of all ages just love the fact that you're there, sort of in the tank, um, and all you're doing is just like cleaning uh, or something. But they're like, oh hi, and you're like, yes, hello. <laughs> you Mr. Sheen out. This machine works on the wall, it. doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, the Brillo pad. <laughs> the no. Brillo pad. It's quite, it's quite tough, especially cleaning the glass, because as soon as you push on it, you just push yourself away. Yeah. So you need a suction cup to stick onto it, and then you're kind of scrubbing. Um, but um, that's but no, fantastic. It, it is good fun, and now Santa Claus is helping out. Um, so yeah, if you live in the uh, sort of Florida area and you uh, sort of thinking of something to do, um, then yeah, take your kids down to the aquarium and they can see Santa Claus. I will um, guarantee that pretty much any aquarium anywhere in the world is doing this right now. It's it's fairly common, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's, it's good. It's though. quite an easy one for them. Oh yeah, it's. Um, yeah, because they're going to be in the water anyway, uh, yeah. so they're doing different shows and yeah, tank maintenance. But um, but yeah, hey, throw, throw on this hat and this beard, and you're like, oh, okay, fine. <laughs> that's cool, man. <clears throat> awesome. Uh, yeah, and that's it for uh, for today's news. Uh, as ever, if you have any interesting scuba diving underwater, any kind of interesting news story, let us know down in the comments below. If you have any questions, queries, or quandaries. Um, to do with scuba diving. Uh, again, let us know down in the comments below. All of your questions will be answered in Friday's Q&A session, um, where we can basically just elaborate on um, your questions. And you, uh, Sean, actually got to help out with uh, with last week's, didn't you? I Talking did. about gloves and stuff. Yeah. That was you, good. And you I did, clever boy. <clears throat> and I did the Christmas gift, guys. With the you dry did. bags. You did indeed. I'm See, slowly, is... slowly turning this scuba diving channel into a hiking channel. My plan is eventually will give me another 20 years. And then there'll be at least one product video of hike, of a jacket. I, I bet when I was talking about the three layers of a dry suit the other day, talking about base layers and mid layers and whatnot, you were just just scratching to uh, to sort of join in and say, uh, yeah, that's the same as hiking. I don't know what you're on about, mate. I don't know what you're on about. But that is that is the golden rule, the three-layer system. If you need more than that, then something's wrong. Yeah. Or, you know, uh, yeah. you're just really skinny. <laughs> Uh, anyway, any comments, questions, queries, corrections, whatever, um, pop them down in the uh, in the comments below. Don't forget to check out our Teespring store if you want a, uh, a scuba diving t-shirt. Uh, and don't forget to use the uh, the discount code DAILYDECO, all one word. That'll get you 15% off your order. Thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving. Stay classy, scuba divers. <laughs> <laughs>